Hey guys, it's Princess Lexi Licious, and today I'm going to do a Ask a Princess series. Um, this was a series that I had started a year ago, and that's when you can email your topics, questions about your situation to me, and I will do a video on it to give you advice how to say, to how to handle the situation. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Um, so I have one for you guys today and I'm going to read it and I'm going to give my thoughts on it. Alright, so let's go. Okay, hello. I have been watching your videos since you did the big chop. So anyways, my friend and I have, I have known each other ever since 10th grade. Now we are college sophomores at the same college. So Barbara met a guy at a kappa party. The first time they met, they had sex. Well, me and her used to hang out a lot, but as soon as she met him, it was like she always hung out with him, even when she had said that he had two jobs, which didn't sound right for anyone who was always available, ill will. Now, she asked him where he worked at and the times that he worked, but he would change the hours and days so she could so he so she couldn't visit him and it will be during the hours that she was in class or at work anyways we would always plan to meet up but plans would change and i guess one day he read the text messages from her phone and saw videos of her licking a male friend john face for a truth and dare game that's when he didn't like John at all. When he told her, when he told her about it and demanded her not to hang out or text him anymore. The thing is that John is gay. Her boyfriend would do mind tricks on her, saying things to make her confess that she was still hanging out with him. She blocked him on her social media because her boyfriend told her to. She will pour everything she did, who and where. At this point, we barely hung out or talked on the phone. I will try to call her and it will ring and hang up. She will reply back to me, can't talk right now. Now she puts, now he puts spyware on her phone to know who she is texting and calling. Oh Jesus. John and me still haven't met this guy and ever since that party ever since that party it has been two months she has shut shut off contact with both of us me and john grew closer because of the situation john and her would be talking to each other in chemistry class one month later she told she came to my house and told me that she said that um her boyfriend was trying to gain her that she was trying to gain her boyfriend trust for not talk for not talking to John. So I guess she was doing that so she can gain trust from her boyfriend. And I told her that was wrong for her to put um, her boyfriend above the, her friends that she known for a while. She told me that she got pregnant by him and had an abortion. Long story short, she told me that she found out that he lied about having two jobs and has played numer numerous girls like that before, and she broke up with him. How can I address this situation with her? I don't think she learned her lesson dealing with the wrong t dealing with the wrong type of man because she is very she is still being naive to me to men. I cannot talk today. She barely knows and have sex with him. Okay. Let me put the phone out. Okay. So. So. Y'all basically read that email. Um. This is the advice that I can give you. Okay. You cannot make your friend see her value. If she's having sex with every guy that um that she comes and con come 
in contact with that she's dating or whatever. Like, you don't have to have sex with every boyfriend you have. Okay? You don't have to have sex with all of them. Okay? And it's just... It's just crazy how she just ignores you guys for a long period of time. I don't care if it was a month or two. Um, how she ignores you guys for a dude that she barely knew that she met at a party. And this is the thing with like women who are naive and desperate to be in a relationship. They always have to have a boyfriend. Like they will break up the next two weeks or a month later they have a new boyfriend. Like Jesus girl give yourself some time to recollect and give yourself, you know, like, give yourself a break. And it's like, people who are always going from relationship to relationship, 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 it's like, they don't want to be alone. They don't know how to be alone. And when they're alone, they get depressed. And as someone who is introverted, I love to be alone. Like, I love it. Um, and I enjoy that me time. And you actually get to know yourself, the things that you like and you don't like and things like that. That's just me. And I feel like, I want to say, girls, especially around my age group, some older, some younger, it's like, let me get into a relationship so I can, you know, it's just... It's, it's like we don't see the signs that a guy is trying to use us for some benefit. Like 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 the um chit chat that I did not the chit chat, the um the get rid of me not the get rid of me, the ask me um the topic that I did um a few months ago about how, you know, like girls need to wait to have sex with dudes. Like, if you don't want to wait into marriage, that is on you. I have no control over you, you know, things pop up. But it's like, you want to be careful of who you lay down with. And especially, you just met this dude like two hours ago. Like, girl, are you kidding me? Like, no. Get to know this um person before you lay down with them. Like, it just... It just... Ugh, I just, I just can't. I can't just sit there and let someone get used. And, you know, like I just said, some people get offended when you're trying to tell them, like, you know, about something. They get offended. I understand that. And it's like, you still have to tell them. You have to be a real friend. Ask, bring that conversation back up. Be like, so, you so so so. Like, bring it up to them. How you felt and what they did. And let them know, I will not tolerate that again. Like, it just... And if they don't like it, they get angry, oh well. But you do it again, peace out. Like, it, it's really that simple. And I should not have to tell you that. Like, you're treating me like that because you have a dude. And that's the thing is, <laughs> when girls are getting some D, okay, when they're getting that, they will risk everything they have to to get that and sex is a psychological thing when you have sex it produces a chemical i don't know the chemical but it will produce a chemical that basically makes you fall in love with that person and you don't have to have sex it can be like touching you like making out things like that like that is a passionate thing and you fall in love with this person and you know you have feelings for this person and you know i don't know and it's, it's, it's like, you, you really have to be careful of who you give your body to, who touches your body, and all that. You really have to be careful with that. Just don't let any guy touch you and, you know, stuff like that. It's just, uh-uh, I'm sorry. Like me, I'm an emotional wreck. You do something, I'm going to be on you. Like, it's like... <sighs> We also have to learn how to think. We're so blinded with love and I won't say love. I I call this um what's the word for this? Lust. This is nothing but lust. This is not love. You're just blinded by the sex and all that, you know. And it's blinding your vision. It's blinding your judgment of 
this guy is using you and you don't see it and women will cry about all this cry about this and it's like you had sex with this person that's why you feel all this emotion and once you're not in this relationship anymore and you realize like you was blinded by the sex pretty much you was blinded by this the whole time and it's like we really have to be careful of who we lay down with you know disease wise and our sake wise like we're women we're emotional creatures and once we get in a relationship and especially a sexual relationship or something like that we become very emotional with that person and even if our friends or loved ones tell us something that hey why why are you doing this and this we get, some of them get angry and it's like girl no one's jealous like you're you're so blind about it it just ugh, it really ticks me off like ugh. but yeah it just all thing i gotta say is keep your eyes open have that third eye open even when you are sexually intact with that person like keep your eyes open um don't let things slide by if they doing something call it out if your friend is doing something they're you know just call it out and also you guys also need to keep your relationship issues to yourself and i don't like how she just stopped talking to you guys and all that now i, I can understand how the guy still when y'all did the truth and dare video of him licking um a friend like a male now you know I can understand his point of view, like, don't talk to him. So, I don't really see that as a crazy thing of how he just said, don't talk to him. But it just, you're trying to gain his trust. I mean, it just, I don't know. Like, this, this is confusing. Uh, one thing I have to say is just bring it up to her. Tell her your feelings about the situation. And, yeah, like. That's the only thing. Like, that's the only thing that I can give you right now. But yeah, so <laughs> yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.